Good evening, and welcome to Newcastle After Dark. We are your hosts, The Management. Coming to you from the land of Cooper's Lake and the Thunder and the Cascades, bringing you films that are a feast for the mind. Tonight's film is 1973's Psychomania, starring George Sanders. This has Nikki Henson, Beryl Reed, and Mary Larkin. And it is uh, a strange, occult motorcycle movie. Yeah, and there's a lot of interesting elements within this movie. Absolutely. Now, back in the day, you could catch this film on TV a lot. Mm -hmm. But upon revisiting it, this is a good film. It is a good movie. Um, I've seen the whole thing in pieces and parts up to this point. Yes. But it was enjoyable. Oh, yeah, it's very enjoyable. Yeah. And uh, you'll find yourself being drawn in because it does have atmosphere. It does. It really does. Yeah, yeah. it has a lot of atmosphere too. Yes, and it's yeah. a good, fun ride. It really is. So sit back, relax, and enjoy 1973's Psychomania. Let him go. No. 
Teach him a lesson. Yeah. Flow his mind. Yeah. <laughs> Abby. You game. Why not? not me that scares you. It's the world. Let's get out of it, Abby. Let's cross over. Cross over? To the other side. How do we do that? We kill ourselves. Oh, Tom. Not that again. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry, but I can't. Why not? Well, I promised. <laughs> I promised my mother I'd help her go shopping in the morning. <laughs> Over a hundred years old. Maximus Leopardus, isn't it? Yes, the tree climbing variety. They are very rare now. They are usually only found in graveyards. That's right. Anyone taking a Maximus Leopardus from a graveyard is either foolhardy or ignorant. You're always saying I'm foolhardy. But I'm not ignorant, Shadwell. Except about certain things. Three things. So answer me. Why did my father die in that locked room? Why do you never get any older, Shadwell? And what is the secret of the living dead? Why do you ask me these questions? 
You've already decided to force an answer out of your mother tonight. I have to go now. Goodbye, Mummy. Goodbye, darling. Daddy. Goodbye, Susie. Granny. Goodbye, loving. Grandfather. Goodbye, baby. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Are you all right, Mrs. Latham? Uh, do you mind? Rest now. Now, relax and start to breathe deeply. Rest. You're going to go into a nice, deep sleep. A deep, deep sleep. Wasn't you wonderful? Do you think we can go or just wait? I'll speak to I uh, understand that Mrs. Latham never accepts any payment. No, we're only servants of a greater power. Uh, there's a present we'd like her to have. No, thank you. It's been in our family for generations. No, thank you. Please. No. I insist you Get must out. Get out! Get out! All of you! I saw you. Oh, you Get out! out. In you go, little green friend. Hello, darling. Good evening, Mother. I hear it went very well tonight. Yes, it did. All except for one thing. I had a telephone call from the police. The word, Mother, is fuzz. I don't know what you and your gang of delinquents have been up to, but if you get into any more trouble, you're going to be arrested. The word, Mother, is busted. Oh, Tom. Tom. You're up to something, aren't you? Everybody dies, don't they? But some come back. Isn't that so? You tried to get into the locked room today, didn't you? How do the dead come back, Mother? What's the secret? Oh, Tom, don't go on with this. You don't know enough. That room's been locked for 18 years. And my father's been dead for 18 years. You know why the fuzz called, Mother? We blew a fellow's mind. It was beautiful. Should have been there. He went right through the windscreen. <laughs> it's great fun. But just you wait till you hear what we've got planned for tomorrow night. You're threatening me, aren't you? You want me to behave, Mother? Then give me the secret. I think we should give him the key. could destroy him. Not with this protection. Will the room give me the secret? May. It depends on you. On what you are. If you're afraid, we won't think any less of you. I'm not chickening out, Shadwell.
is a bit slow, but that's quite usual in shock. Oh, no. His father's glasses. If only he'd had more courage. If he'd had more courage, he'd be with you now. I warned him. I said, Charles, don't try. Don't cross over. You haven't got the faith to come back. At the last moment, he must have had doubts. I said, when you die, you've got to believe that you're going to come back. You've got to believe that with all your being. Thank you, Mother. Thank you very much. What do you know then? I don't know. What's the fastest anybody's done on the motorway? 95? <laughs> and then you woke up. You must be dreaming out of your cotton picking mind. <laughs> Today we do the ton. And hold it. But that's suicide. So. Well, hell, you've got to go sometime. Which way, Tom? Through the town first, I think.
I'm Abby Holman. Mrs. Latham is expecting you. Miss Abby Holman, madam. So, you're Tom's girlfriend. I hope you didn't mind my asking to see you. Won't you sit down? You're not at all what I expected. Uh, I mean, you're, you're wearing a dress. You're probably wondering why I came here. You were with him when it happened, weren't you? Yes. Tell me, was it an accident? Don't you know, or, or don't you want to tell me? It wasn't an accident. He killed himself. Mrs. Latham, why would Tom want to kill himself? Shall we? No, thank you. Thank you, Shadwell. Now, what did you want to see me about, Abby? Well, this may sound strange. But we'd like to bury Tom in our own way. What do you think, Shadwell? Uh, well, it's a little unusual, madam. Uh, but I think it's what Tom would have wanted. Very well. Where will you bury him? Down at the Seven Witches. Oh, good. You know the legend? Yes, some witches were supposed to have been turned into stone, weren't they? Yes, you see, they broke a bargain that they'd made with superior powers. They had to be punished. Good day, Miss Holman. Coming back, isn't he? Yes. You want him back. Yes, God help me, I do. And the world never knew his name. But the chosen few know of its fame. Come and join his company, riding free. He really got it on. He rode that sweet machine just like a bomb. He felt her in his soul, but no one there could find him. So he left those fools behind him with a feeling they could not understand. He took away his life with his own hand. And the world never knew his name. But the chosen few know of his fame. Come join his company, riding free. Tried to tie him down to make him place his two feet on the ground. How could they treat him so? To ride was more than living, but taking more than giving. They tried to clip his wings just like a fly. So instead of standing still, he chose to die. Dusty bend, he leaned 
answer ever in wood like a friend. He rides her to the ground, his heels the black earth jetting, a haze of blue smoke fretting, while the holy sound of revving fills the sky. You can see the ghostly rider passing. Chosen few know of his fame, come join his company, riding free. And the world never knew his name, but the chosen few know of his fame, come join his company, riding free. I'm taking over as leader. He's not buried yet. this geezer? Shadwell. He works for Tom's mother. Excellent. I want to bury this with Tom. What's in it? Thank you. Is that all? For the moment. I haven't got a spare. I'll have to go back to the garage. Cut across the seven witches. It'll save you ten minutes. You're not afraid, are you?
Right. That'll be 66. <laughs> now, look. I'm sick of you Tanner boys trying that trick on me. Now, you pay up or else. What are you going to do? Kill me? I'll teach you a lesson, you long-eared git. I don't have to take that sort of talk anymore. Not from anybody. You got a phone? Yeah. We sell beer, too. Okay. I'll try a plate. Where's the phone then? Around the corner. Hello. Hello. Got any change for the phone? Help yourself, then. Right on his bike. Shadwell, I don't want to see anyone tonight. Very good, madam. Lisa Vanna. Shadwell. Yeah. Hello, Shadwell. Good evening, Tom. I've made it, Shadwell. We all knew you would. Splendid. Enjoying every minute. <laughs> Is my mother there? Hello, Tom. Hello, darling. How are you? Are you all right? Well, I'm uh, dead, mother. But apart from that, I couldn't be better. Am I going to see you? <laughs> I've got one or two things I'd like to do. But I'll try and pop around sometime. Goodbye, Mother. That will be 16. This one's on the house. I said 16, Sonny. He's with me. That's right. Yes. Yes, well, thanks very much. ta -ra, love. Hey, I thought we were going somewhere. No, I'm sorry, love. I've got to go somewhere special tonight. Oh, I'm not classy enough. Is that what you're saying? No, I didn't mean that at all. What about my money? That was good enough for you. Sure, and I'm very grateful. It's just that I can't take you anywhere tonight. I'm coming for a ride. Look, I'm not going to argue. Just be a good girl and get off the bike. No, nope, I'm staying. You silly little fool! I can't take it, now please, quick! Inspector, sorry to interrupt your card game. I thought I told you. I was losing anyway. Stand aside, Excuse please. Me. Thank you. Thank you. Who made the call? I, I did. I told her not to go with the poop, but she would. Go with who? One of that bike gang. The living dead, they call themselves. That lot. Welcome back. Well, here we have the beginnings of our film. 
And the first person you will notice is the great George Sanders. Yeah, um, he was in uh, All About Eve yes. with the great Betty Davis. Yes. Uh, he was in Village of the Damned and The Ghost of Mrs. Muir. Yes. And he also voiced the character Sheer Khan in the animated film The Jungle Book. Yeah. He was tremendous. He was. And, you know, sadly, um, he had passed away shortly after the release of this film. Yeah. Now, Nicky Henson, he was in Witchfinder General. Yes, he was. He was also in a film um, called Vampira. Not to be confused with Vampira. Yeah, the host. You're right, exactly. Right. Um, which I have not seen. I haven't either. Yeah. We might have to check that yeah, out. Yeah, definitely. And uh, you have uh, Beryl Reed. Yeah, um, she was in Dr. Five's Rises Again. Yes. And Beast in the Cellar. Yes. And she's a good actress. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, you have Mary Larkin. Yeah, uh, she was in films like Against the Wind and The Razor's Edge. I haven't seen either. Me neither. <laughs> Sadly. <laughs> yes. Now, this was directed by Don Sharp. Yes, and, you know, we had said, you know, on watching this, that it has a bit of a hammer look to it or amicus yeah and if that's so it's because of Don Sharp absolutely he had directed uh, some movies for Hammer um, Kiss of the Vampire yes um, Rasputin the Mad Monk yes yeah yes and you know there's a lot of atmosphere in this film because of Don Sharp definitely you know yeah definitely now the music in this was done by John Cameron mm -hmm. and he recorded some tunes with Donovan he did, and um, hot chocolate. Yeah, the, the yeah, sexy, sexy thing. thing. Yeah. yeah, yep. And uh, later on, he would go on to release a few tunes from this movie under the title "Frog." That's right. Um, he had also done an instrumental version of Led Zeppelin's "Whole Lot of Love," which I have not heard. I haven't either. And I've had some trouble finding it, but I would love to check yeah, it out. That should be interesting. Yeah. Uh, this is a Benmar production. Even though it's very similar to Amicus and, you know, American International, this is Benmar. Shortly after this film, they did Horror Express. Yeah. Which is tremendous. Great movie. But yeah. they were mostly known for... Spaghetti uh, Westerns. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But overall, I think we're off to a good start. We definitely are. Yes, we are. So let's get back to Psychomania. Last night too. Yeah, right. Who the hell did it then, eh? That's it. Where was you last night? Why does everybody think it's me? The police said one of us killed them, and it wasn't me. Yeah. Well, who did it then, eh? I was playing at a gig last night. I was shacked up at a motel. Hinky, drop me out. I was watching telly all night. Did any of you ask the fuzz what the killer looked like? Well, I did. They described Tom right down to his name tag. Someone dug him up. Someone dug him up and took his bike. And pinched his clothes. Yeah. And then did the killing. Making it look like one of us. Well, when we get him. I'll kill him! Don't you know me, Abby? Morning, Hinky. Gas. Shop meat. Jane. Bertram. Hatchet. Look, Tom Latham's dead. I'm the leader of this gang now. Who are you? I'm Tom. I've come back. Like I told you, Abby, it can be done. And here I am to prove it. Any of you could do it if you wanted to. There's only one condition. You have to believe you're going to come back. 
believe enough so that you really want to die. That's all there is to it. Maybe. But that doesn't prove you're Tom Latham, does it? <gasps> Tom! And another thing. You can only die once. After that, nothing and nobody can harm you. Oh, man, what are you waiting for? Maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. <coughs> my wife would like a last look at our daughter. Yes, of course.
ve. Jane and Hinky, what happened to them? Hinky isn't coming back. At the last moment, he hesitated. He didn't really want to die. Poor Hinky. And Jane? She's out there. Of course. Some of my best friends are dead. <laughs> hey, look! No one! Well, you two must be having fun. Come with us, Abby. But supposing... Supposing at the last moment I was frightened, like Hinky. I need you, Abby. If I had you, I'd have everything. Oh, I could believe that. From the look of those skid marks, something must have forced him over. Did you get anything out of the witnesses? Yes, sir. Exactly the same story from all of them. Two motorcyclists jabbing at his tire with a knife. Any identification? Yeah, they're living dead again. All right, they've had it this time. This is a murder charge. Pull them all in! Right, sir. Message from the station, Inspector. Yes, Sergeant. They brought in all the gang. Right. Roger. That's bloody odd. It's the Latham House. Drive in. Y G J six seven. G. Check those registrations, please, and give them priority. But my son is dead, Inspector. Yes, I know. 
But this is the only place those motorbikes could have gone. Shadwell, have any of Tom's friends been here? No, madam. Is it important? Very. It's murder. What can I do to help you? The thing is, Mrs. Latham, an outbreak like this doesn't just happen. There's always something behind it. Now, ever since your son died... I'm sorry. Please go on. First, your son was killed. The following night, someone wearing your son's clothes murdered five people. Three days later, two more of your son's gang died, a boy and a girl. This afternoon, there was another killing. Immediately after, the girl's body disappeared from her coffin. He must have... Inspector, Mrs. Latham has been under a great strain. The girl means something to you, doesn't she, Mrs. Latham? It was all about that, Lily. They must have nothing to do with her. Madam, you must rest. Please tell them, Inspector, please. If that girl comes back, they must have nothing to do with her. It's evil! Please tell them, Inspector, please! Yes, yes, of course I will. Now, don't worry. I suppose everyone has their breaking point. I'm sorry I should have realized what a shock it's been. Yes, it has. Thank you. We've uh, checked on the owners of those bikes, sir. Well? Well, they belong to Tom Latham and Jane Pettibone, the young woman whose body disappeared this afternoon. Pigs! Pigs! We're going to kill you! Do you hear? We're going to cut you to bits! Belt up, that kid. We're in enough trouble as it is. But we ain't done nothing. We're innocent. It's a murder charge. 20 years, you know? Pick up two. You're a fine lot. Do you really think Tom will let us take the rap? Oh, what can he do? We're in jail. So? So what can he do? When you come back, you can do anything. Remember? making all that noise. What the hell do you think you're up to? Can't give ourselves up. We've been naughty. Yes, well, you're up to your neck in trouble now. Shall I close the door? Yes, please, love. Now, I'm booking you both for a breach of the peace. Oh, that's terrible. Which way to the cell? <laughs> Names? Yes. Please? Tom Lee. And Jane Pettibone. Addresses? Uh, oh, care of the cemetery will find us. Being funny isn't going to help you, miss. What the blazes? What's going on in they here? They just wrote. I want to have a talk with you two. Where did you get these machines? Tom? Well, have you made up your mind yet? Yes. Coming with you.
sorry. Thank you. Is that your bike? Yeah, yeah. Do you like it? Bet it's far. Would you like to? Sorry. Gotta go.
I'm a police inspector. Then I'm alive. Yes. You were looking. Why? Why should a young, pretty girl want to die? Why should any of them want to kill themselves? The others? Are they... Yes. All of them. Mind which one we start with? Ah, no, it's all the same to me. Three, is it? No, sir. There's been another one. Four. Bloody work horse, that's what I am. Go on, let's get started. Marks of violence, probable cause of death, drowning. See if he's got any water in his lungs. Yes, sir. Who the hell can that be? I think to go and find out. There's no much doubt about that. It's for you, Doctor, your wife. She says it's urgent. Oh, last. Let's uh, pour that into a beaker and stick a label on it, will you? Yes, sir. Thank you. Death or something. I'm sorry, my love. There's nothing I can do about it. Just have to start with that. Miss Holman died last night. She is dead, Shadwell. You must be very happy. Happy? She's made it, Mother. She's dead. Oh, my God, that poor girl. Cheer up. This is the happiest day of my life. What's the matter? Mother? What are you going to do now? What are you all going to do next? Oh, there's lots to be done. For starters, do you know how many policemen there are? And judges, teachers, preachers, do-gooders. You mean the entire establishment? Right. And if I run out of ideas, Hatchet has a program. Oh, yes. There's lots to be done. The reason I told them you were dead is that I want to set a trap with your help. I'm so glad I didn't die. It was very close. Now, listen to me, Abby. 
Whoever dug up Tom Latham's body and took Jane Pettibone from her coffin also stole those four bodies from the morgue. Now, they were all members of the same gang. Your gang. You are the last of them. If whoever they may be thinks that you are dead, I'm certain they'll come for your body too. That's when we'll get them. But I'm not dead. I've announced that you are. I want to take your body to the morgue and see what will happen. Now, will you do it? Nothing will happen to you, Abby. I promise we'll take every possible precaution. Inspector? Uh-huh. If you love somebody, but didn't want to see them anymore, what would you do? Would you meet them and tell them? Or would you just go away? Well, uh, it would be more honest to tell them to their face. Yes. Fancy driving through a brick wall. How about you? Why not? Where are we going? My place. I'll take the right wall, you take the left. What happened? My back wheel skidded. Liar. You're not dead. That's what I was trying to tell you, Tom. I don't want to die.
you can't. I must. You made a bargain. It was for all time. I'm going to break that bargain. I still want you, Abby. I can't kill myself. I won't let you go. If we kill you, you can never come back. But if you do it, we'll be together. Forever. I want to go on living. No. got three minutes to decide. Now you're quite sure now. Yes. And you know what you will become. Yes. And that it will be for all eternity. Yes. And that your son was a part of our bargain and that he will have to pay too. It was his own doing.
conclusion of Psychomania. I gotta say, you know, this is surprisingly good. It really is. You know, you don't yeah. expect much with a title like Psychomania. Right. And in the States, it was known as the Death Wheelers. Exactly. You know, you think it's gonna, ah, this is gonna be cheesy. Right. Right. But it's not. It's not. Right. And that's probably a good amount due to Dawn Sharp. Exactly. Like we had said, um, it has a hammer look to it. Which, of course, we enjoy. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. And I think that helps it not um, have that cheesy um, aspect to it. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, Nicky Henson had done this film, and prior to this, he had done Witchfinder General, which was a major film mm -hmm. with yeah. Vincent Price. Yeah, right. But he did this film because as he was reading the script, it said, in the very beginning, eight Harley choppers come over the hillside. He's like, that's it. I'm, I'm in because he was a motorcycle enthusiast he rode a lot and when he got to the set there were no Harleys there were eight Triumphs and BSAs and He's they were totally bummed out oh bummed out yeah and they were small CC bikes and they had hired eight full-time mechanics to keep them running <laughs> right because they didn't get new ones right they, they went to the swap meet <laughs> right right <laughs> just keep these ones just running keep them running yeah and you know he did all of his own stunts except for three and you could probably pick the three out because the stunt man got hurt in those three stunts each time you call on nikki there oh yeah he yeah. knew what was up exactly. he's like i ain't riding through that glass right right i'll get hurt yeah but you know our thoughts on this film is, you know, number one, your gang got to have some cool names. Exactly. You know, Dad Bertram. Yeah. I'm not, you know. Hinky. Hinky. Yeah. That's like janky. Right. Right. <laughs> exactly. Right now, you know, what was it? Chop meat and hatchet. Right. Hatchet. Okay. Okay. Uh, hatchet. Those are acceptable. Right. But when they were having the funeral for Tom, I thought that when Hatchet was turned around, I thought somebody was making a submarine sandwich. It looks like a woman <laughs> making a grinder. I was like, it does. They got a buffet. <laughs> it, it does. Yeah. You know, they're going to have a, you know, a little sandwich. They're going to have here. a snack. Well, while, right. Exactly. While my man's playing the right. guitar. Right. Speaking of. Yeah. I know one thing. If you become ripping out of that grave. Guess what? Like a bat out of hell, just like Meatloaf, <laughs> and I'm going right for that guitar. That's right. That's right. <clears throat> that song was too that, long. It was a bit long. Yes, it was. <laughs> and that was chopped meat. I'm going to end that. He should have had club finger as his name. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now, you know, all you had to do was kill yourself and believe you're going to come back. Exactly. You know, you can only die once, but you have to believe you're going to come. And they choose the worst ways, the ways I would never choose oh, to kill myself. There's only two ways they didn't use that I wouldn't use. Getting eaten by a shark. <laughs> right. You know, I'm going to go swim in the ocean and let the yeah. shark eat me. Or um, go spelunking in a cave. <laughs> right. I ain't going in no cave. Right. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah, but they're jumping out of buildings yeah. and airplanes and, you know, chaining themselves and jumping in the water. Who's getting in? Exactly. Who's getting it's coming to get you when you come back. Yeah. Nobody. Chained to a block. You're right. like, yeah, we're one short. Nobody. <laughs> yeah. That was a bad choice there. And then his girlfriend was like, I'm going to take these aspirin and kill myself. Yeah, let me eat a whole pack of aspirin gum. And... <laughs> oh, I'll see you later. Yeah some, yeah, some Tylenol PMs. Right. Oops, she, that didn't work. She's like, well, I'm sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But they were going crazy. I mean, he went to the bar. He took that girl's change. And she was nice to him. She was real nice. She Bought nice him a beer. Him. Yeah, exactly. And all she wanted to do was go for a ride. Yeah. Well, you know. I mean, they were. I mean, that's the last thing that you want is, you know, for this, you know, raucous, you know, group of, you know, 
bikers to right. be immortal. Right. Yeah. That's only going to get worse. And we're thinking, well, how are they going to kill them? How are you going to stop them? Yeah, yeah right. exactly. You can't because they're immortal. But you know, that's the thing. His mom had the power. Yeah, she broke the pact with the frog. The uh, frog. You know, deity. Deity. Whatever yeah. it might be. Yeah. Yeah. He was, you know, one of the lower demons of hell. Of hell. Right, yeah. He was just like, I'm the frog. <laughs> right, yeah. yeah. But when she broke the bargain, I'm telling you, that frog had on some eyeshadow and some <laughs> lipstick. I, I could be saying things, but it did. That's how you knew it was her. want to see it that way. And she was like. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> this is what happens. <laughs> right. And then they turn to stone. Um, you know, they're hanging out in that graveyard. It had a great name. What was it? The Seven Witches. Yeah. That's great. And I love the little, kind of looks like Stonehenge. Yes. Kind of thing going on there. Yes. It was cool. It was yeah. cool. And I was surprised at the ending. Yeah, so was I. Because I was like, who's going right. to stop them? Exactly. The cops weren't going to stop them. They even tried no, to... They're killing the cops. Yeah, right, yeah. Killing everybody. Yeah. They ran over a baby stroller. They did. They did. That's brutal. That's brutal. <laughs> That's brutal. That's brutal. Yeah. yeah. Running over them to Tino's Hot Pockets. Or pizza rolls. Pizza rolls. <laughs> they are all <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. Right, yeah. Totino's, man. Yeah. But uh, in the end, though, I was satisfied. Yes, yes. Um, I definitely enjoyed this movie. Mm -hmm. um, like we had said, I had seen it in pieces and parts, but watching it, you know, uh, the whole way through, I enjoyed it. Absolutely. Yeah. This this was a fun ride, like we said, and it's perfect for this time of year. Yeah, it really is. Absolutely. And we thank you for being here with us at Newcastle After Dark. We hope you join us again for the Lost Treasure in Cinema. Until next time. Good night. night.